Well, let's get on with the program. Today's art talk features Child Hassan, an American Impressionist painter noted for his paintings of gardens and coastal scenes. He was a part of the Artistic and Literary Salon in the Isle of Skulls in New Hampshire. Hello, Sarah. Good morning, everyone, or I guess I should say good afternoon for some people who are on different time zones. Maybe you're in New England, where our artist was from. Um, so let me start. Yes, so Frederick Child Hassam's family had deep New England roots. Uh, his father was a cutlery salesman based in Boston, uh, whose ancestors arrived in America from England in the 17th century. Hassam's interest in art developed at a young age, and one of his earliest memories was actually hiding in an antique coach that his father collected so that he could paint undisturbed. And his childhood talent was recognized by an aunt who encouraged him by arranging for him to meet with local artists. So he took classes at the Lowell Institute and the Boston Art Club. In 1882, he had his first solo ex exhibition of around 50 watercolors uh, at a Boston gallery which included works depicting what would become one of his popular themes, which is landscape paintings of places he visited, specifically in New England. Um, and we'll focus on those pieces today. Uh, he was closely associated with Impressionism and went to study in Paris at the Academy Julien, which is a very famous um, uh, salon and, and, and academy. And he was a founding member of a group called The Ten, which were 10 American artists that helped bring Impressionism to America from Europe. So the remote Isle of Shoals is a group of islands off the coast of New Hampshire and Maine. The islands kind of split the difference between the two states. And it was a favorite retreat of Hassam's. And around the turn of the century, he undertook a series of views showing the rocky cliffs and coves and the expansive ocean that surrounds the islands. And his impressionistic techniques really shine here, not only with you know, the sparkling tones of the water in this piece, but also you can see the algae and maybe crustaceans that seem to add color onto the bottom of the rocks. Uh, Appledore is the largest of the islands, and this is where Hassan spent time. In the early 1880s, he met a poet, Celia Thaxter, whose father owned the Appledore House Hotel, where she lived. And so during the mid to late 19th century, she welcomed many New England cultural luminaries in a salon-like atmosphere, including Ralph Waldo Emerson, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, and others. So it really became this artistic haven. So here's another painting of the rocky shore, but with colorful poppies in the foreground that definitely contrasts the sharp, jagged shoreline. And here he divides the canvas into three zones of nearly equal size. So the band of red and pink poppies in full bloom occupies the bottom third, uh, while the island's rocky shores extend into the ocean in the middle, followed by the pale sun bleached sky at the top. And the balance of the painting underscores the unchanging stillness of the scene with little movement detectable. And so the viewer likely imagines sounds here, such as maybe the gentle lapping of waves or um, perhaps a cry or two from invisible seagulls. So most of Hassam's paintings of the Isle of Shoals were devoid of any human involvement. Uh, but in some cases, he'll, he'd feature a single uh, figure kind of as a supporting role. So the deep blue tones of the sea in, stand out in this piece while the rocks in the foreground come in several different shades. But Hassam used that flickering brushwork uh, that impressionists are known for and that he adopted in France and to kind of capture the spangled light of Appledore's brief summer. And this painting evokes the leisurely seasonal rhythms of America's families in the last years before the Great War, or World War I. In the Room of Flowers, we find a long room with several windows to the right-hand side, which allow bright light to envelop the various details inside. As you can see, the walls in this room are filled in every corner with various framed paintings and prints, which speaks to the fact that Thaxter's residence doubled as a salon and gallery for the artists that spent time there. Uh, nearest to us is a bulb-shaped glass vase with a narrow neck with yellow flowers peeking out of the top. And Celia Thaxter loved flowers and gardening. And if we go on to this next piece, we can see an example of, of her garden. 
She said, quote, I am fully and intensely aware that plants are conscious of love and respond to it as they do to nothing else. Uh, she even wrote a book called An Island Garden in which Hassam did the illustrations. And this particular piece was actually part of a series he did to highlight her wildflower garden that served also as a cutting garden for the um, hotel that her father owned. So here's another painting of gardens. And in this piece, there's something very idyllic and European about these paintings. And it could be maybe the style and the brush strokes that Hassan paints with and the soft color palette. And this piece, as you can see, uh, was actually painted in East Hampton, not the Isle of Shoals. But I thought it was important to include because it calls to mind Monet's Giverny paintings of water lilies and meadows, which were painted just before this time. And of course, Monet was a fellow impressionist in Europe. So as I mentioned before, Hassam did the illustrations for some of Celia Thaxter's books. And this spoke to Hassam's love for illustrating and painting flowers, but it also helped him develop specificity for each a species of flower that he often painted. Thaxter's garden is still on Appledore today and is actually maintained by the Shoals Marine Laboratory, which is a research field station on the island operated by both Cornell University and uh, the University of New Hampshire. Uh, they have plenty of tours and other activities to explore on the islands. And if you're ever in that corner of the country, you can relive Hassam's paintings in real life. Thanks everyone. air and fresh flowers. Remember audience, kindly email me about your summer excursions. Isn't it fun for all of us to be armchair travelers? And I believe a few people just returned from trips. I think Greg did, right? These are yeah. like Israeli pirate duty, I think, is the way, best way to describe these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except for they're peanut butter flavored. Yeah, kind of like Captain Crunch. Uh-huh. Yeah, so exactly. Good. Yeah. <laughs> 